opening video and it kind of reveals it kind of shows how teens like nice and fast cars with uh, back then and even recently we didn't think about the environment or what or how it affected the surroundings or like yeah the, the, how it affected the surroundings and to now now this generation is getting told more or informed more of how it's going how all this has to change. More vehicles are being developed more in eco friendly manner, uh, more miles per gallon, uh, more more computerized in their vehicles. I want to inform you of the truck it's called the EcoBoost. It's from Ford. It was developed recently and it's uh, it's an eco friendly truck. And I'm gonna explain to you as a truck enthusiast and as uh, from the previous speech, as you all saw, being part of the horseback uh, riding sport, I kind of use horse trailers and big trucks to tow trailers from point A to point B. So I'm always looking to see which truck is the best one for for different situations. As I said, the truck is a Ford. It's part of the F uh, from Ford. It's, it uses a Ford F-150 body, but the interior, as I'll explain to you, it's completely different. It was the, the idea started in 2006 as a low budget program. A lot of people were kind of negative to it because considering it's a V6, 3.7, the that market has always been thrown to the low middle class or even low class people as a low budget. And in most cases, these V6 vehicles, you give up the torque and the horsepower and in most cases, even the luxury. So this truck kind of uh, changed all of that. Uh, from the inside aspect of the truck, as I said, it's very computerized. It has, a, as you see in this part, it tells you like the, how many miles per gallon you're getting, the, as well as the, the, you get your regular gauges. But they give it more of that high-tech look to make it more appealing to a wide variety of, of people as well. And here you see the overall look. Uh, how's it, how does it compare to regular to a regular V8 truck? That's the most that's uh, the fear that the Ford industry had is uh, as they develop as I was saying since while well, they were developing the idea in 2006 and 2007 they actually tried it out and they kind of had like small competitions versus V8 trucks and they actually saw that it was keeping up with it but they were having trouble with uh, as in the other picture shown with the computerization they really didn't know how to uh, put all that together and put like a an actual good vehicle here are some charts as I said it's a fuel efficient truck and uh, when they they didn't really know how to get the f the complete fuel efficiency while towing, as you can see here, the top line it's, it demonstrates to you how it's un how it's not towing anything. It's just the truck itself going on the reg on the regular mileage, and you actually get uh, on city you get like 16, 16 miles to the gallon on a good day. And in highway, it goes up to even 25. For a truck, for a truck that size, it's actually very good because even regular V6 trucks, you're only you're usually only getting uh, 13, 14 on city, and it doesn't really uh, make a big difference in highway as well. But you don't have that towing uh, capacity. Unfortunately, here you see the blue line; it drops dramatically while you're towing. The towing here, it was said that it was 9,000 pounds. That does put a big impact on it, but you know, we're city people, so it doesn't really uh, create a, a big effect on it. 
because even me being part of that sport, it doesn't uh, create a big conflict because even on a regular V8, you don't get that. Uh, you don't get that many miles per gallon. What's next? The Ford industry, they're developing, they're working on new ways to make it fuel efficient, even on a, while towing 9,000 pounds. So as, uh, as time progresses, we're gonna see fuel efficient trucks make a bigger impact on, on the economy. And the biggest surprise to Ford was that even, if, even though the EcoBoost is pricier than the regular V8, it actually surpassed the reg uh, the sales by uh, I think it was forty one percent. So to them, it was a big surprise. Coming to the conclusion, as I demonstrated to you the brief history of the EcoBoost and how it how it's creating the a more eco friendly vehicle. And for this generation that we're in, that we're becoming into fast trucks and all that, it's it's allowing us to get more options as well. And one sec. And that is it. Thank you.